In the previous episode of Tim Talks Cooking, I showed you how to make 90 second keto mud bread. It's really one of the recipes that I make the most often, especially when I'm super hungry in the morning, I need something right now and I can throw it together, toss it in the microwave and eat it with some eggs and bacon. I think I put a picture on Instagram of this recently and that was one delicious breakfast, let me tell you. You know, there's more to the keto 90 second mud bread than you might think at first glance especially if you're just using it for a quick sandwich or for toast in the morning or something like that. One of the things that we can make with it is keto breadcrumbs. This will allow you to make all kinds of breaded, deep fried keto treats and delicious main courses like I'm gonna show you today. Keto breaded chicken thighs. And let me tell you something, these are really delicious and they come out of the oven just beautiful and crunchy and you just really will not believe it's diet food. Right out of the oven or served as leftovers as I'm gonna eat it for lunch today. I filmed the actual cooking segment two days ago. I think you're gonna find this is such a delicious dish, even so good that my husband Carl actually texted me from work today to say, oh, I had some of that chicken with me for lunch and microwaved it, man, is that still good? Which kills me because usually he's pretty nonchalant about how good the food is. I think he's just putting me on. It's something that you may really miss if you haven't had breaded deep fried foods for a while. And it's just a recipe I think you're really gonna like. Something else you're gonna like are the macros for this dish. Check this out. Now, here I made four chicken thighs, and that's four servings in my book. And the whole recipe comes down to this. 1,633.4 calories, 13.8 grams of net carbs, 246 grams of protein, well it is meat after all, and 131.5 grams of fat. Per portion, that is divided into four portions, the macros come down to 408.4 calories, 3.5 grams of net carbs, 61.5 grams of protein, and 32.9 grams of fat. Oh, and by the way, did I mention this is really super simple and just about anybody can do it. I think you'll agree once you watch the way that I do this. Tell you what, let's head into the kitchen. Let me show you. Well, of course, the first thing we're going to need is breadcrumbs, and they're very easy to make. Now, you can use whatever kind of keto bread that you like. Me, I'm going to use my keto 90 second mug bread, and this right here I made in a sack. This is two portions, it's two mug breads that I made using a combination of lupin flour and coconut flour. I changed the recipe a little bit from the last time because I was running out of lupin flour. And these are made with one tablespoon of lupin flour and two teaspoons of coconut flour per mug. Anyway, two of them in here. I slice them into slices that are pretty thin. The thinner they are, the quicker they dry in the oven. And then I put them on a rack on a baking sheet and left them in there for about two hours, two hours and 15 minutes, maybe two hours and a half. And once I pulled them out of the oven, I let them cool off for a little bit. And then I put them in this plastic sack. You could use a paper sack if you'd like. Just to make it a little easier, I'm going to squeeze some of the air out of it. And next, I'm going to crush them with my rolling pin. You could also use a food processor, but you know what? Don't use your blender. I used mine and it reduced them to absolute dust, which was completely unusable. I had to throw it out and start over. So let me save you that little heartbreak right here. And as you can see, I'm just going to crush them with the rolling pin. I'm going to roll over them until they're about the size I want. You can see there's some bigger chunks and some smaller chunks. Once you've reduced your dried slices of bread to crumbs, I'm gonna mix in some other ingredients. We need these crumbs not only to be crunchy and cover the outside of our chicken thighs, we also want them to season them and flavor them properly. If you don't put any flavorings or seasonings in this, it's gonna be fairly bland and it's not gonna be delicious. Let me show you how to make it delicious. Now, as you can see in this jar, I've already got some crumbs left over. I'm gonna to add to it the ones I have in my bag. And two mud breads makes about a cup of crumbs. That's 80 grams or 2.5 ounces. It doesn't have to be exact. I think this is more like 2.7 ounces. Anyway, got them in a mason jar and I'm gonna add some seasonings to them. First, a good pinch of salt. Maybe a little more than that. 
The reason is that we're not just seasoning our breadcrumbs, our breadcrumbs are going to season the chicken thighs as they cook. We're also going to add in a half a teaspoon of black pepper and a half a teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, as well as a tablespoon of dried Italian herbs. Et voilà. Put the lid on and give it a good shake. And there you have it. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 190 degrees Celsius, and also warm up some oil. This is about a quarter of an inch of avocado oil. Use any keto oil that you like. We want to heat this up to 350 degrees to fry our breaded chicken thighs in. Here I've got four boneless, skinless chicken thighs. This is three eggs beaten with a little salt and pepper. And here I've got our breadcrumbs. I think you know pretty much how this works. Take a chicken thigh. We're going to dip it first into the beaten egg. And then right into our breadcrumbs to coat it the best we can. It's not going to be perfect, but we can get a good coating of these crumbs on there. Before putting the chicken thighs in, make sure your oil is at least at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 175 Celsius. Carefully place the chicken thighs in the skillet. Don't overcrowd the skillet. Turn them over once they're nicely browned on the first side. When the chicken thighs are brown to your liking, remove them from the skillet to a baking sheet with a rack in it. Check this out. Here are thighs. They're not completely cooked yet. We're going to finish them in the oven for about 15 minutes or so. Ah, there's our timer. And here they are, hot out of the oven. They're looking pretty good, right? You can see I also had a couple of little pieces that I also breaded and put in there in the oven with them. These are going to be great. Hey, before you go, don't forget to like, share, comment, and especially subscribe to my channel. Helps my channel grow, helps you find my videos, especially if you click on that notifications bell. Thanks so much for joining us here today at Tim Talks Cooking Hat. We'll catch you next time.